Hey guys, welcome back to Niche Advanced Survival Game. I'm Butler Kiz and we are in a little situation here. We have a carnival over here and um, we went to the last video at the end of the turn and we're going to see who out of these two girls carnival is going to go after. Isla here um, could have her life cut short. Solara, <coughs> or Bay, as I renamed her, um, is just as old. Um, I am hoping that Bay will breed with Fawn here. Um, who did become smelly, which I'm slightly worried will attract the great ape back over here. So I'm I'm thinking of keeping him over there and getting Bay to move over up to him to breed. Um, feels bad isolating him, but he's old already. He's gonna pass in four days, and it's for the best of the pack. Um, so I've also renamed um, this little guy Ram. I renamed Gvan Van to Manny and also then this little guy to Ace because I really like his back horns and his violet eyes as well as the poison with fangs so we're ending the turn and yes unfortunately it was Isla who was unfortunately attacked and that took three days off her life she is now bleeding which is a bit unfortunate but it's a good thing that she takes low damage which I actually think yes if you attacked Bay, Bay has haemophilia which means she takes more damage um, but hopefully Bay can yes Bay managed to here this guy which means our little shortage on food is not as much as a problem for now so that there is a plus we if I remember correctly we did smell a plant perhaps we didn't um but perhaps we can get to that mole but so we're gonna move up yes but we're gonna have to wait a turn for that and oh I forgot we could have prevented that bleeding so unfortunately Isla took more damage than she needed to and the bluebirds back Oh no. And the apes back unfortunately. Um So if we take that meat we are then just gonna run straight down here. Gonna get that collecting. Gonna move him there. Um Move him all the way down here to the travelling spot and we have fish down there for anyone with fishing but unfortunately we don't you can collect some of that hill and you can move all the way up here and breed no that failed, let's try again that unfortunately failed as well which doesn't fare well but we're going to hold on hopefully he pays more attention to um, Fawn which is unfortunate because he only has two days left so let's see yes 
and it looked like he's also he also then attacked Ram, which is really bad. Unfortunately, they didn't get to breed because that would have been really helpful there. So we're just gonna oh didn't mean to do that. We're just gonna hop down here and travel. Which I'm really unfortunate with. I wasn't hoping to travel yet. But unfortunately, because that eight was just behind us all the time, I didn't feel that we could have just kept running to a different place on the island. Okay. Sorry for that, guys. Um, I've probably cut that because the frame rate completely dropped while it was loading. I was talking through the beginning part of it. But once I realised the fact that my recording software um, really slowed down while it was loading, I decided to cut it off. Um, it's a good thing we've got a nest there. Anyway, what I was saying is the fact that we hit so much bad luck, I didn't want to keep circling around that island um, to get away from that ape because we have been at the situation where we're so close to the port didn't want to keep just moving back to where we were just for that ape to then follow us um, because we've been having some problems as it was it didn't feel quite right to keep there so we did move to the third island um, they do get bigger as we move along so this one's rather big we do have water there so we have three rivers which is interesting in case we get some water faring traits we then have the island travel pass there there and over here so this one's that one's flowery that one's got bones on and the one up here has vegetation so that may be going to another forest if it indicates anything from my last one because our last one had vegetation like that oh what's that I wonder what that is um yes our last one had vegetation like that and it took us to that island which was half grassland half that jungle and that was hell that may just take us to another grassland and I don't even want to know where the bones take us so it's a good thing we have a um, thing right here so we can have a look back over Isla and Bay's genes to see who we could possibly mate with. So we have D and B and we have B A. So I think this is then the problem where everyone has one of them. So we have A. Which one didn't have A? Who didn't have A? Alright. Yes, it was Manny because they bred. Um, so I'm then going to try that again. Unfortunately, Bay's not going to unless we come across a male or their one's male. So that's a little unfortunate so we are going to then mate and it was successful the first time seeing how bad Manny is in his fertility that's very good but we're going to use our ears and our nose and we don't smell anything unfortunately but we're going to keep moving along okay so and we have a little baby alright ah, yes ram is bleeding so we can cure that and Israela cute little Israela um, quickly having a look she has the F and B 
which is what F and B, which is what these guys have, and um, A and B, right? So that's something she seems fine in most regards, but not perhaps the best, unfortunately. So we then we are then gonna try again. So yep, it seems to be working pretty good now. So we're gonna wait before she hops back onto the nest. Oh, okay. So we have a stagmo there. So if we leave that, he's going to put back up and yes, we found a berry bush. So we're going to migrate towards this direction anyway, in hopes to find another. Okay, so if we keep bay along the rims here because she can actually move faster in the water which I believe is this level might be classed as water or this one because um, of course we got the river along here but she cannot breathe underwater that is a different thing so oh and getting that claw in jeans is something I'm after but let's see if no you're still planted underground and there's another berry bush there and there's an individual there so this is going to be rather interesting to see um, we're not going to have many go we're going to have Ram move up and nope the fellow seems to have moved but we're going to have Isrella move down and before I'm going to then plant you on it and then move you all the way here ah. Here he is, or she is, Mecco. So Mecco has the dirt snout, big nose, ram horns, digger paw, nimble fingers, which is a very thing to have in genetics pool. Does have blind, but that hopefully we can try to breed out. Melanism again, but the K gene and the F gene. So F gene unfortunately is something very predominant other than in many and many won't be able to breed many may be able to breed so then it also get hopefully the K gene in there but because they're so between them they're really bad mating may be a bit risky so I have two days so see if this um, child has the K gene or the um, F gene <clears throat> because if they don't then that means I can just get Miko and the adult but that caging could be very helpful so I'm not going to refuse her yet but I'm not going to completely welcome her either so we do have little Komisi down here 
who has the AMB gene, which means she doesn't, which means Meko, let's see, five days. If I remember correctly, it takes, how long does it take? Um, teen, see, I'm not sure how long it takes, because it takes one day, two day, see, by the time she's an adult, that then may not work, which means, unfortunately, then, still, unfortunately, not a worthwhile, um, thing to do, so, I'm just gonna do that, we're going to then check, you're still underground, unfortunately, so, move you up to there, so you can search that area, then going to have to turn the camera, and we're going to hop over here, and there's another bush here which is probably why we had that guy here anyway because he's probably on that but if we move here we can get rid of that and then hop over here so we're slowly getting settled don't think he's going to come out at all which means we may have to think of other ways or things to do but I am going to um, leave this part here um, Israela I really like the name of but I am going to change little Kermesse's name here. Um, I know I did say that I wasn't going to name them on screen, but I just had a change of mind, and I'm going to name her... Um, I'm not sure what I want to name her. Perhaps she doesn't look very much like any others. I mean, she's got her father's um, colouring. She's the only female to have horns. Um, I'm just going to name her Zeta. Um, Zeta. Okay? So, we have little Zeta here. But, as I said, that's it for this part. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback or comments, put it in the comment section below. And to keep up to date with this series, press subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.